Justice Muhammad excused himself from Shuwaray suits. Hmm. Justice Ahmed Muhammad of the Federal High Court Abuja on Monday recused himself from a suit brought by Shuwaray Omoyeli, convener of Hashtag Revolution Now, currently before him. Muhammad made this known to parties at the mention of the motionless party with suit number 1409-19, filed by Shuwaray. The publisher of Sahara Reporters to challenge his continued detention by the Department of State Services, DSS. Nigeria News Agency reports that while Suore is the applicant, the Director General of DSS and the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, are first and second defendants in this matter. The judge told counsel representing parties in the case that he decided to withdraw from the matter because Sahara Reporters and online media had in 2016 and 2019 accused him of collecting bribe in a case between the federal government and Gabriel Suswan, former Benue governor and current senator representing the state at the National Assembly. Mohammed, who sought the opinions of the lawyers, said in the interest of justice, it would be better for him to recuse himself. The judge then stood down the case for a few minutes, said, I have an issue with this matter. I want you, counsel, to look at it before we come back. I want to have your opinions. When the register of this court called me and informed me that I will be handling this matter, I asked if the chief judge was around and I was told he traveled for Christmas. Inside me, my conscience is telling me I should not take this matter subject to what people will say and what you will think. This applicant is a publisher of Sarah Reporters. Sometimes in 2016, he accused me of taking money for a matter to compromise the cause of justice and I returned the case file, but it was returned back to me that it would not be reassigned. Again, this year, around June, the same applicant accused me of taking money again on the same case and I had to hands off again. Then the case was reassigned to Justice Abang. In all honesty, Will it be fair for me to sit on this matter concerning the publisher, he asked. Mohammed, who said party's confidence was paramount in the matter, said justice is a fair trial. What if in a way my order seems not to be favorable, I will be seen as being paid for, or when the proceeding is even going on, the applicant himself will be apprehensive what judgment will this Judge Give, he added. Earlier on Monday, she arrest lawyer, Femi Falano said, who said he was ready for the matter, had informed the court that they filed an application of enforcement of the applicant's fundamental human rights dated November 15th. Godwin Agbadua, counsel to the DSS, told the court that he got to know about the proceedings through the media. I learned the first re responding the DSS DG was summoned to be in court today. We are today in court because of the high respect we have for the court. We are unaware that the applicant has filed several processes against first respondents, but what we are not aware of is the process before this court that brought us here today. In this regard, we will be relying solely on the court guidance for this application because we have not been served with the summon directing first respondents to appear today, he said. On his part, the AGF, AD, AGF lawyer Abdullahi Abubakar told the court that the AGF had filed his processes earlier dated December 5th. We also filed a motion. We filed further and better affidavit in response to the counter affidavit and notice of hearing of the motion on December 19. He said, Abubakar hinted that though a preliminary objection had been filed, he would need time to regularize this. Falano, however, objected to Abubakar's submission of asking for more time. He said he was surprised that Agbadwa said he read about the case proceeding through the media. He said, my learned friend met us this morning and he did not ask why we were here, he said. Falano told the court that Agbadwa wouldn't have moved for, an, for adjournment of the matter because he never said he was not ready for the case, he said. On his part, the DSS lawyer Agbadwa said in order for the public not to 
misconstrued the position of the security outfit, it would be better not to make a comment on the judge's decision. The Leonard SAN has said it all. Most importantly, the agency I represent has been in the media over this matter. For that singular reason, I will not state a position on whether or not my lord can hear it because it could be misconstrued to be in form of the agency trying to delay the hearing, he said. However, AGF lawyer Abubakar did not oppose the judge's decision. Justice Mohammed would then recuse himself from the suit, ordered that the case file be transferred to the chief judge of the Federal High Court, Justice John Tosho, for reassignment. Nan reports that Justice Inyang Eko had on December 17th fixed today, December 23rd, to hear from the DSS and AGF why Shiwore should not be released from custody. Shiwore, through, this, through his lawyer Falano, had filed a motion ex parte before Justice Eko to demand for his unconditional release from the DSS detention in pursuance of the release order made by Justice Ijoma Ojuku on November 6th. He said his continued detention, regardless of the release order made by the court on November 6th, was unlawful, unconstitutional, null, and void. Nan reports that the operatives of the DSS had rearrested Shiwore shortly after a court proceeding at the Federal High Court in Abuja on December 6th, barely 24 hours of releasing him and his co defendant Olawale Bakari, from custody. Justice Ojuku had fixed February 11, 2020. As next adjourned date. However, Abubakar Malami SAN, the AGF and Minister of Justice, had on December 13 announced his takeover of the prosecution of Shore in the charge of treasonable felony levied against him. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> this is a long story. A very, very, very long story. We don't know where this whole thing is going to land. Everybody is trying to play, play uh, ignorance feigning ignorance as if they don't know what they are you know they are doing all of this in, in my opinion is just a delay that is you know a lawyer that is supposed to handle the judge that's supposed to handle the case said no i wouldn't want to do that so that it won't look summer because the the applicant is the uh, publisher of sarah reporters and they accused him some at some point in time that he, he collected bribe and all of that in 2016 and again in 2019 so because of that he is he, trying to you know free himself from that judge and that was why i said let's you know he met with his colleague and to know whether he should continue with that and with the whole thing now <laughs> everything is just really shrouded in secrecy the lawyer to the dss saying they didn't know that they are supposed to meet in court and falano now he says can't train them he said they heard, heard about this whole thing on social media this thing that has been going on for a very long time you know they just want to Look for her skills to just manipulate a lot of things. Manipulate a lot of things. Now that uh, the, uh, the the judge that is handling this case before now, uh, Justice Ijoma said, he had, she had joined based on what you know, on what happened on the sixth or fifth of uh, December. Had joined the case till uh, January twenty twenty or is it February twenty twenty? January or February. And before you knew it, these people came to arrest this man. Because as we speak now, he's not supposed to be in the custody of the DSS. He's not supposed to be in the custody of the DSS since he's been granted bail. And he will just, he, you know, the only thing that he was expected to come to the court in January or February, which uh, Justice Ijoma had already adjourned to. But with what we are seeing now, this man now is illegally detained. You know with the dss and that is the reason why they came today so that the agf and the dss will come and explain why he was rearrested but today again now we are hearing different different stories we are hearing different stories just to continue to keep this man with them what are they doing with him we don't know honestly guys this is really this it cause for worries honestly it's really really worrisome so guys, uh, let's hear your own take concerning all of these uh, shenanigans back and forth and, you know, trying to uh, act as if they don't know what is happening. Everybody just trying to excuse themselves. Everybody just trying to say one or two things. Giving excuses, unnecessary excuses. 
But let's see. Let them continue with this game. So guys, leave your comments below in the comment section. Bye.